I strive to be in the present moment. It's what I'm always striving for every day. When you pursue passion, things fall into place in your life. My name is Mike Lebecki. I like to go seek out and find and climb untouched, unclimbed, virgin earth. My name is Andy Lebecki. I'm a glass worker. If I can make glass into something beautiful, that's what I do. I'm still seeking what I don't know exists. Really what it's come down to, especially on the big expeditions and first ascents, is defining the line between dangerous and too dangerous. That is a challenge that still perplexes me. Some of the biggest, most challenging climbs that I've done, Andy has followed me up. Loving life. <laughs> no doubt about it. He's not a climber. He's done a few climbs in his life and they've been all huge first ascents following me up in the middle of nowhere with no rescue possibility. I'm his younger brother. He wants to show me how sweet life can be. Year of the cock expedition. On the summit after a 40 hour push. As brothers, we have strength together. He is the absolute ideal partner because we're close brothers like that. That's why I blow glass. That's why I love going on these trips with Mike. It puts you in the present moment. Greenland is one of the least explored places on the planet. It still is. And it's also home to big granite mountains. I must have 80 maps of the east coast of Greenland. There are these fjords that I started looking more closely at and then ended up getting satellite imagery that was classified. Because of where the sun was at when they were taken, I could see shadows of the mountains. And these shadows, you know, some of them were like these big fangs. Through experience, that doesn't mean much. Just a mountain with a shadow can look like what it's not. But there were some that I could identify, okay, that is a little different shadow. That's like a steep tower. The very first time that I had the idea to go to that area was in 2002. I've been denied by weather. I've been denied by the sea ice conditions. I've been denied by the polar bear activity there where we couldn't get dropped off. And so I've been trying to get there for years and years and years. Mike tells me these stories of this unachievable peak. The polar bear fang is an obsession. It's a huge first ascent, like a world-class, beautiful granite, steep, big polar bear fang shaped rock tower. Randy was like, I'll go with you. Brothers Expedition, Greenland. All right, we're going. This particular year, there's more sea ice than they've seen in like 50 years. A friend of mine who is the most experienced sailor on the east coast of Greenland, he's coming to pick us up, and then we find out his boat has been crushed in the sea ice and it's sinking. And the Danish military is out rescuing him now. We end up meeting this other guy and his friend, and they're like, we'll go for it. And you know, the boat breaks down. We keep going, breaks down, fixes, breaks down, and we get to this wall of ice. You know, we've traveled 400 miles. We're a couple miles from where I wanna go. And I'm like, okay, we're done. I'm never gonna make it to the polar bear thing. And the captain goes up to the sea ice really gently, and then he starts gunning it, and he's pushing these icebergs out of the way. And then finally, we broke through, and all of a sudden, as we're moving in the boat, you know, the polar bear thing is coming out of the horizon. I'm like, holy fuck. I've been searching for this wall, this tower, for over a decade. When you see it, it's, it's very very intimidating. Like, I knew where we we're going. I knew it's a big climb. I knew all this, but when I saw it, it just changed everything. Like, what did you get yourself into? <laughs> Andy understands you have to give every single thing you have to make it successful. He gets that from the glass art that he does and knowing the years and years and years of training and suffering that he's put in to learn those arts, he brings that to the climbing trips. If you're not 100%, you're gonna fail. What happens in glass blowing is you have to be in the present. You have to be in the now. When you're making a piece of glass, if you're anywhere else, you're gonna miss the detail and it's gonna break. But the approach looked insane. Just to get to the wall was its own expedition. You know, walking right next to huge crevasses in the glaciers. We got to this little rock outcrop that I was thinking was at the base of the tower, and it's like another thousand feet of climbing that I couldn't even see. Up at the high camp, really close to starting the climb, up here is the big polar bear fang tower, but you can't see it because it's caught in a cloud just like us, caught in a lovely cloud of sweetness of life. Mike's style is the most unique out there style. Time is now, life is sweet, 
You know the drill. He has this deep optimism and a internal strength that he just can access. Einstein gets credit for saying that cold doesn't exist. It's just the absence of heat. The way that I see it, it's, a, it's also just a simple anxiety, stress, drama. They don't really exist. It's just the absence of joy and optimism. And so I think perspective and attitude and, and choices are a really big deal. All right, woke up to a beautiful day, a little windy. After the snowstorm, time to go see if we can climb this thing. Mountains just change with every step. First ascent, untouched, unclimbed. So there's dirt, there's mud, there's loose rock. There was this really steep sort of overhanging chimney kind of mayhem. And it was really, really loose. I was able to get through it and it was like another stretcher, 60 meter pitch. Made this anchor and I radioed to Andy. I'm like, don't fuck up. You know, he reiterated that to me many times. My communication was, I will do my best and I understand. We just have to get through this. I'm like, Andy, climb fast, climb safe, get up here. I love a good challenge. And that's what climbing is for me, is like, you get these challenges. There's this spot where you might not make it, but you gotta try. The glass blowing has the same thing. You get to this point where you think that this piece might not make it. It's too much of a challenge. Your hands get pumped, your arms get pumped. They don't wanna work. They literally stop working. But you find a way to continue and you find a way to finish the piece. All right, here we are on the summit. Oh, You're the Ram Expedition, loving life up here in Greenland. When we were in Greenland together, we were in an element that I live for and we really relied on that blood, that bond, that belief that we have together to make us safe and successful. Being out there in the middle of nowhere like that really creates a place for magic to be born. Time is now, life is sweet. This world has real magic. If you're in the right place at the right time, you get to experience it. In this moment right now, the past is bullshit. The future hasn't happened, it doesn't matter. Climbing, the glass blowing, it puts you in the present moment. Time stops in the present moment. Time is irrelevant. That's the way to slow time down to almost nothing. Every challenge that I've had, I have found a way, though I have suffered, I've worked, I've compromised, yet I was committed to that passion. You ask the question, why ration passion? Why would you ration passion? This is what it's about, this life, is to find some passion, something that you believe in, something that's great, and go for it. Good things come to those who wait. It's like, that's fucking bullshit. It's like you kick ass and you work hard and you go get what you want.